up everyone just wanted to quickly hop on and walk you through my thought process on the stocks i'm looking at next week so first and foremost we can start with ahr uh today it capped up on some pretty impressive earnings volume being the highest volume in one year and if you've looked at any of my charts before you'll know that this is a characteristic i tend to hammer home it just shows a new level of institutional demand, which is important for any sort of stock that wants to be a huge winner. So, you know, the first thing that I see here, we got good RS on this name in prior runs, which is a huge bonus because obviously there's, you know, institutional demand. And when I see something like this gap up, we take this RS line, moving average, we're above it now. And if we zoom in, you know, we slightly close above the 50 day moving average, which puts, it, puts us above the rest of the moving averages. So if we hop into a 15 minute chart, you, know, you can see we're looking at this volume support ish area and 22 eights, or, you know, the 25 spot for a top end strength breakout. So if you know, I'm looking at this on Monday. We open, gap up, come down and test this HVC at 22.8. I'll be a buyer. Or if we, you know, to have a strong move through 25, I would also be a buyer. Move on to WWE, which today had a highest volume in one year. Same characteristic as AHR. But here, you know, we have a prior RS name. Again, huge, huge win there. And then we have an RS new high with price, which is super strong especially as this name comes into not quite all-time highs but definitely 52 week highs so again let's take a look at a 15 minute chart we have our high volume close here which is 84.27 then we have top end near 90 so ahr was 25 top end wwe 90 89 90 and this area let's say we Open up, come back in test, I'll be a buyer, and then see what it does. But I really overall like this action. Good to see some gap ups so far. Start the year. Next chart I really like is this TITN. Clear RS, theme stays the same, prior RS. And we have this highest volume in one year earnings gap up, so that's huge. And honestly, we could draw a line here, a very you closes below it's been real close and now we're at this 40 spot so what i want to see is a 40 hold on a down day that'll show me that there's some sort of bid in here yes we held the moving averages which is a huge positive but i need to see some 40 respect before we attempt this 44 hvc level we move down to the accumulation signatures we got some big blue volume bars accompanied by some orange consolidation on low volume bars and then more green, so that's good to see. My next one here, ARHS, IPO name, HP IPO volume signature. So this is the highest volume since the IPO day or week. See, we had it back here, it kind of fizzled out, but this character change is impressive. You know, this fizzle out, this hold, so we can see some sort of serious demand starting to come in over here. IRS. Now some more RS with some relative strength, new high before price pink dots. That's important because the RS line is outperforming price. So usually that occurs when there is large, large amounts of demand and accumulation. Again, so we see these green bars, cool. And after this weird earnings bar, we see some big blue bars, big blue bars, low volume orange consolidation bars then more green over here. So what I'm looking for now is a same thing as TITN and respect before upside move. Preferably on a down day. So we can really test demand and see if there's a, a low risk entry at the 10 spot. Moving on to some names. Well, actually NVCR is another one this week, HV1 volume in one year in the medical group this big rs that's cool prior winner ish even though it's been consolidating for a while 
that's above all the MAs. This is a 11.9, which happened to be the second highest volume, third highest volume ever. So it's pretty impressive. I have to pay attention. And we can see some respect on the open of the gap day or today's price bar. So a trade for me would be through, let's see, we can just pull up the 50 minute chart. We had a good consolidation here. So we'll see if we can get some sort of move through 120 or respect of 105, 108 again to get interested. Let's move on to some names that I missed this week. AUPH was 18 point whatever million, which would be almost the highest volume in a year. It was definitely the highest volume since last earnings, which is the, you know, another volume signature I look for a lot in the markets, but you can see on this day too, we gap up, come down kind of like I talked about with AHR, WWE, we tested it and we rocketed it off. So, I mean, if we would have gotten in here, we'd be up 27% in three days and this would be a good place to uh, take some profits. DCPH, kind of the same vein, opened above, tested, came below. Now we'd be up 9%, 2.84 mil, which was the not highest volume in a year, but highest volume since last earnings, same as AUPH. And then actually, sorry, this is one more chart I'm looking at, MBLY on the IPO side of things. We got some good looks here, good looks here. Um, resistance at this 10 and 20 EMA confluence but if we look at this green bar we can see it was actually the highest level of a three of volume 3.842 million I think this day was quad witching or something I don't know it doesn't look based on the price action it doesn't look right but either way this is one of the highest volume signatures to the upside we've seen out of this name so we'll see if it can shape up around 30 and start to move up to 37. So I hope that was a good look into how I'm thinking about the market going forward. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.